Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the YouTube live stream. Caricature. Hang on, got to plug the microphone in. Technical difficulties, all right. Maybe that's a little better. All right, sorry about that. Technical uh, difficulties. I think we're on. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the live stream and to the replay. Cartoon Mark is here, been away for a while, <laughs> as, uh, you know, life takes over. But uh, let's do some caricatures today. All right. Saw some fun faces in here. And I'll see if I can find them again. All right. Hello, my friends. I missed you. Uh, just give me an okay if you can hear me. I'm just trying out a new microphone here. Just say we hear you. And uh, we'll be good. Uh, we're just shooting on the fly today. Um, nothing really planned. I just uploaded a video. Hopefully you can check that out. And uh, I had some faces here. I, I don't know where they went. Hmm. There's one. I mean, yeah. Thanks for the like. Hey, Doug Warren. Okay, sounds good. What up, Doug? It's been a very long time. Doug Warren, one of my loyals. Faithful. I appreciate you, brother. How is everything in Oregon? Um, it was nice yesterday and today, but the rain has uh, moved in here in upstate New York. <laughs> All right. Again, uh, how how do we do? How do we attack caricature? Um, well, number one is, pardon my boarding house reach. Uh, you get a book like this, and uh, fifty five and cloudy. All good. Get Tom Richmond's book, The Mad Art of Caricature. Okay, and also I like Keelan Parham's book. So, and uh, Tom Richmond says, what do you see? Where's the widest part of the face? Well, this is a little trickier of a drawing because it is a uh, three-quarter view. But I see a, a definite square shape. That's a square. <laughs> All right. And... Um, you know, think like a box, like 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 there's a side to this. You know, here here there's a square box, right? If you can see that. And uh, where's the center line? You know, kind of like that. And she's got a thick neck as well. Now I'm gonna go right with um, the eyes. I'd say are definitely very squinty uh kind of wide apart and kind of tilting downwards and uh that nose is a classic uh, ski slope nose i love it and i'm just gonna go quick tonight guys i'm gonna shrink that nose in order to make that mouth and teeth look even bigger um so i will shrink that as we get going to the inking process Alrighty. Okay. There's the teeth. I'm going to go right into uh, inking this, guys. I just feel good about it. Um, look where the ear is. It's almost the top of the ear is even with the eye line. So you want to do that as well. And I love this hair. I really do. I love those those curls. All right, we're gonna hit this right away. Um, and that neck is rather thick. All 
All right, let's hit it. Um, I did a caricature. If you see my community tab, um, I drew a, a co-worker, a friend, who uh, fixed my flat tire. He's a mechanic. And uh, thank you, Stevie, for fixing my flat tire the other day. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. I would. I have AAA, but they would have just um, put the donut on. Stevie actually uh, put a, a tire plug in it for me. And I always carry a tire plug kit. And mine were old and rotted out, so he had some new ones on him. I'm going to shrink this nose. I'm not going to make it as big as I originally did. So, uh, thank God for our mechanic friends. Always make friends with a mechanic. <laughs> right, Doug? I'm sure you know some or one or two. Alright, the mouth. Now, the teeth. Here we go with that. I think we're going good already, Doug, right? Guys, uh... Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate that. Um, I've been really busy working, guys, and I have I took five days off. I have four days off with my schedule, but I took five days off. I took an extra day off to make it five, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I had to do that, and it's all good. Bottom lip. We're just going to relax and have some fun here tonight. Thanks for joining in. And a little bit of the bottom teeth are showing. My neighbor just got back from Florida. He's like, man, I know, I know what you were talking about. He's like, I'm going to retire here in Florida. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, why are we staying here in this? It's still gray and chilly skies here in upstate New York, but it's all good where family is, and it's nice to get away out of the cold for a while. All right. Uh, let's do, she's got a small chin, you know, she really does. I always give a highlight on the lip like that. And, uh, I do want to keep that square face, so, uh, there we go. She's got two kind of cheek lines that kind of, there's one. There's two. I want to do it subtly without, you know, being rude. I think we got it. Let's gonna, I'm going to shrink that forehead a little bit, too. Now I'm just going to give some lines for the... Uh... There, that helps. I'll give that neckline there and the, uh, the hair... Something like that. Very unique uh, hairstyle. I like it. I dig it. All right. So I work from the inside out. I'm doing the uh, in, inner hairline right here. I'm going to draw the ear just so I don't get too far away from myself if you know what I'm saying earrings oh yeah Doug I can hear the rain outside now there's that hairline again I'm exaggerating a lot here and I'm gonna do one big line. Look at this, the, the skull, almost like a cap. It's like a skull. So uh, remember, there's a skull under there. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like it. Would she be happy? I don't know. <laughs> you know, most people know what they look like and they're fine with it. Like, I, I, I've never really insulted anybody. I always try to draw people in a good pleasing way and with a good likeness also. I don't want to 
lie. I want to get that likeness. So uh, I should have went a little rounder up here, but eh. Hair, ponytail, thanks for tuning in guys, I'll catch up with your chat here, if you're chatting, that is. Got a little wavy shirt underneath. Collar. And neck. Necklace, there we go. That's a quick one there. To start off the evening. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, Doug, been looking at Navarro Beach in Florida. Beautiful. Sam wouldn't like it as it's on the panhandle and Gulf side. Well, I don't think Sam likes much of anything, <laughs> to be honest with you. Sam's always, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sam's got to always find something. There's, there's nothing ever perfect. He wants it. He wants everything, and uh, you know what? Sometimes you can't have everything, if you know what I'm saying. But I wish him the, a good luck and a good fortune, and hope he's doing well. What other face can we get into here? <laughs> wow, I see a lot of uh, interesting faces. It's hard to choose, you know? Um, a lot of these people... Don't know their pictures being taken. This is a a, a website called um, earthsworld.com. <laughs> wow. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I don't know, maybe this one? Mark, haha, <laughs> 100. Yeah. Poor Sammy. I hope he's hope he's doing good, man. I miss that guy. Um, I, I know he's doing good. So, But you know what? Sometimes yeah, I can only uh, take care of myself and uh, get what I need to get done in a day. I, just, I can't be on YouTube every, every minute, you know? That's why I'm I haven't been on in a while, you know. I wish I could be on here more for you guys, but hey, it's all good. I do I do what I can? <laughs> this guy here, uh, very small eyes, um, like that. Very small nose, and that shape is like that. Again, I'm using very. Simple shapes, guys, if you can see. Um, and then, uh, not much of a forehead showing. I'm going to come down with that. And it's almost like flat. Let's go right at it. Let's hit it. <laughs> I hate monkeying around with pencils and stuff. All right, eyes are going to be very small. Don't forget about the glasses. Glasses look very small, too. It's interesting on this guy here. I don't usually put too many wrinkles in, but because um, they age your subject. And uh, this guy isn't too old. But he does have some wrinkles going on, and he's looking off to the side with one eye. OK. 
Okay, tricky nose here. Let's try it. Okay. Nostril. Nostril. There we go. I'm going to do these. Well, I'll do the glasses at the end. Hope everybody's doing well. He's got his mouth open a little bit. Nice. I have two events in one week coming up next month in April, and I usually don't like doing that. And these two events are for the same place. It's for a college. And the only reason I'm doing them uh, is because uh, the top caricature artist in the area asked me to work with him, and that is a true honor. So I must, I must be doing something right, I guess. So I'm going to work with him. His name is Phil. And um, it's for a college, like a back-to-school thing or a spring break thing. I don't know what it is. And it's very close to my house. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, Cartoon Mark is not taking any gigs this year. I just don't have the time or what not to do it. Um, I am scheduled for two other events both in September. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I am not taking a lot, so unless I can fit it in to my weird new work schedule, you know, I'm not, not able to do it this year. And that's fine, you know. I'll do what I can, but um, and I'll do a lot more here at home on YouTube with you guys, so I hope, hope to see you here a little more. All right, let's put these glasses in. See a straight line across. Okay, see that straight line? And I go light with it. Like that. Like that. Like that. See, don't make it difficult. <laughs> this guy is funny looking, isn't he? He looks like a cartoon. Look at that hair. Wow, I didn't know it was that long. Well, here goes nothing. You guys like these kind of videos when I pop in live? I kind of like them. It's just kind of like freestyle. And it's like what I do at my events. Let's shade this one in a little. And I'm going to use a blue. Like a dark bluish. The shading really... Uh, makes it i think i'll catch up with you in a minute here folks inside the ear there's depth in there on the, on the hair let's just finish the hair these are this is a prismacolor art stick in case you're wondering they're basically a woodless colored pencil and uh, they're very specific to the caricature community i would say and you can draw with them, too, like that, you know. Uh, but they're very <laughs> temperamental. you got to go in one direction. And you should be turning your paper as you use these. I am lazy, and I do not turn my paper as much. 
but look at how much better it, a drawing can look with just a little bit of shading. You know, think of the, the, the face as like a topography. You know, where would the indentations be right under that lip? And sorry, I hit the microphone there. And then, uh, you know, the beard here and there. He's got some gray in the beard, so we'll leave some of it. And then in the eyes, remember there's eye sockets there. Okay, they're, they're indented too, like that. <coughs> and also under the uh, neck. And he's got some design on the shirt like this. And buttons. And sometimes I'll give a little sh drop shadow on the cheek like that. And some lines on the glasses to show the little shiny glasses there. Not bad. Not bad. I like that one. Hey, there's five people here. Hey, John, how you doing? The Art Tunes guy. My first time catching you live. Thanks for doing this. Hey, John, thank you for tuning in and thank you for commenting. I got to check out your channel. I need a little drink here, a little drink of water. Cheers to everybody in the live stream. Mm -mm -mm. You guys got time for one more? Of course we do. Um, I love this site. <laughs> Let's uh, see what else we can get into here. God, I, re I really like this lady's look. But uh, I don't know. That mouth might mess me up. <laughs> yeah, when I see something, I know I want to stay away from it. <laughs> Let's find a lady. Why, oh, I like the lines on her face. But I like the other picture. It's a little more straight on. Hmm. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. I should have had this uh, planned out, but I don't usually plan this stuff out. Okay. Okay. I think we'll go with survey says wow okay you guessed it <laughs> wow holy mackerel um you think she's angry or is that just <laughs> I'm not going to draw her eyes I'm I'm just going to go I know you can see them a little bit but Let's just have fun with this. Let me get a fresh sheet of paper here. Sorry. I use 12. I would get asked about the paper I use. And I use this 12 by 18 just because I can fit four faces on there. Um, you know, uh, it's strictly because of the fair people. I, I worked um, two seasons with the fair company. Drawing caricatures at the fair. Not my favorite setting but i will do it if i my schedule allows it and this is the size they use and they always said they can get it cheap on amazon which i can and so that's the only reason i use 12 by 18 i wish i could find a 12 by 16 but tom richmond uses it but he has his cut uh, by a paper company i thought about cutting it myself but yeah you know what, I'll just do the 12 by 18 because I can get my hands on it really easy. Um, wow. So again, simple shapes. There's the nose. There's the mouth. Wide cheekbones. And a little chin there. And we're the, the hair is everything here. The hair is... Uh, what we're going to exaggerate. I mean, if you just look at the shape, the shape of the hair, like if you were to outline it and mask it, you know, there's an earring. She's got her pretty earrings on. Good. I would go like that and like that. Right? Let's hit it. <laughs> you know the deal. 
Uh, here I'm going to use the uh, nose first. And to make it a little 3D action, you can go like this. Okay. Now I do the glasses. Um, kind of unique shape for these glasses. They are angled down inwards, so I would just be aware of that. You got to make things simple. Wow, she's got these eyebrows just penciled in with like one line marker. <laughs> wow, I just saw that. Okay. that that's that is it looking like her yeah I think it is we're going a little exaggerated here tonight guys in case you haven't figured that out yet <laughs> it's due to the uh, subjects the subject matter right Okay. Yeah, I knew this one would go quick. All right. All right. Earrings. She's got red earrings there, but we're just going to draw a little design on them for design purposes. <laughs> oh, I, I crack myself up, man, with these faces. Like, literally, I see people like this all the time in my area. Like at a certain grocery store that I go to. I mean, who knows? I'll, I'll look like this someday. Maybe I look like it now. Who knows? It's all good. I don't discriminate. <laughs> I draw everybody. Beautiful. I see beauty in everybody. And this is... a. She's got actually beautiful lines in her face. That all... Like the cheekbones especially. Um, not much more I could do with this. <laughs> I just saw it and I had to I had to go for it. Um, I would dress this up with uh, some shading, you know. But there ain't much we can do, you know. There's 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 you know the hair is dark color. And again using the Prismacolor art stick. What I mean about turning your paper <laughs> like that, I can get way better lines. Whereas, you know, that's that's what I'm trying to say when I mean turning the paper. All right. Oops. Sorry. I keep hitting that microphone on you. Again, I mean, what what more can you do? I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Let me just take a step back and uh, look. Oh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It ain't perfect. It's all right. Hey, six people in here. Well, Walmart for sure. John, how'd you know I was thinking that? <laughs> um, I saw another face in here, if I can find it. Wow, there are so many faces I want to draw here. That's kind of cute. Like the way she's looking. Maybe we'll try her hair. Or try, yeah, her hair. Like, obviously that's what I'm going to exaggerate. I should draw a guy. I'll draw a guy next. But this one, I can't pass this one up. Um, 
I really like what I really like her pose there. I'm gonna go right with the marker, guys. I'm not even gonna putz around. Um, so here we go. Little eyelid, eyelashes. Eyebrows are kind of like, huh? All right, nose. I like a lot of stuff about this woman's features. Yeah, the rain is coming down now. I mean, I love this mark under the nose. Um, upper lip is interesting. Kind of a smaller chin, right? Here we get her. Almost like straight. A straight boxy kind of face, right? And she's turning a bit, but we're not going to indicate too much of that. We're just doing head and shoulders here tonight. And she's got a necklace on. A little drop shadow under the neck. You can kind of see the ears peeking through. We'll get them after if we have time. But I really wanted to get to this hair, okay? It's almost like that 50s style, okay? Now remember, there's a skull under here, okay? There's just as much head above the eyes as there is below. So... There you go. Nice, you did it. See, I knew you could do it. Earring. Earring. Like the old Betty Crocker look, huh? Like the 50s uh, Leave it to Beaver. I really like how this one came out. See, certain faces, I can just go at it quick and get it. Other faces, <laughs> I have problems with. And uh, it's the ones who look, who don't have much to exaggerate. Those are the ones that will get you. They're called the in-betweeners, or the normal-looking people. And I wouldn't go too heavy on the shading, because it's a blonde hair lady. But I would just go here and there, just for shadow effect. And that's about it. Maybe right there, and right there. Nice. All right. That was my favorite one of the night, I think. Let's find a guy to draw. I really like... Wow. I really, she's got, like, an Irish look about her. and I don't know. I, I, want, I want to draw a guy, though. I want to see if I can find a guy to draw. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing one that I really... Uh, yeah, maybe. 
these this hair, these curls are gonna mess with me. <laughs> Let's try it. The dreaded hat. God, I hate hats. <laughs> um, but I figured out a way to make them simple. Thanks to my friend Todd Goings. Thank you, Todd Goings, caricature artist to the stars. Thank you for your tips. And I will pencil this because of the hat. Eyes are wide apart. I'm going to pencil it in a little heavy so you can see. But that nose is kind of skinny and long. And that mouth's a little crooked. He's got a wide neck, doesn't he? Yeah. Can you see that on camera? Yeah. Um... Ears, kind of large as well. Um, I always put the hat on in a three-quarter view. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it reads better as a hat than if it was on head, head on, straight on. It looks odd. when you, yeah, I can draw it like that. But it looks weird, like a little cigar or something. <laughs> Here we go. I, he's looking at something, this guy. Uh, eyebrows. He's got kind of small eyebrows for a guy. Not too bushy, not too distinct. Um... Again, eyes are definitely pointing down. And they got like a straight line across them. For the top lid. All right. I like it. You can kind of see in those nostrils, okay? Very, uh, Distinct lips there. And mustache. I always like how the caricature comes starts coming together. And it's, this one just came together just now as I did that mustache. I like it. And that jawline isn't really connecting with that neck, boy. He's got a neck as wide as his head. <laughs> He's got um, some hair coming down here where the side burns, okay. And the ear. You know, it's step by step with this. Yeah, that's all you can do. All right. Now the hat. Okay, watch the lines I go. Whoop. There's the brim. And then over. And I do a little lip on that brim right here to give it a little 3D action. Here's the, the flap again, the upper part of the head where it meets it. Okay, that's the trickiest part right there. And then, I'm 
the rest of the hat. Nice. And he's got some camouflage on the hat. We'll just indicate that here and there, there and here. And I can't read what it says on his hat. So he's getting a smiley face. And then we'll do the long hair. I always shade in the under part of the hat and we'll do that with some shading. And then uh, for the curls, he's got some really curly hair, boy. If that's I think that's normal for this guy. You can kind of tell. I, th I almost thought he curled it. All right, on the side, you just do kind of folds and in and out, you know, with it. And you just want to depict the curls as best you can. You got to think like curly, wavy hair. Like Bob Ross says when he's painting, think like a cloud. <laughs> think like a mountain. And I think that's that's not bad. What do we got here? I got some lines here, right there. All right, let's shade it in. And uh, again, under the, under the brim of the hat, it's got to be the darkest, because that is in shadow. Okay, let's hit the eyebrows. It does have blue eyes. Do the nose, the ridge underneath it. Mustache. Upper lip is always darker than the lower lip. Why? Because it's in shadow from the nose. Okay. Always here, I'll put a drop shadow here. It'll kind of push that head forward. See that? Whoa, sorry. Sorry, I dropped my microphone. I always do that. Sorry for that. And we'll finish up the curls on the hair here. And we'll be good. Again, what are the keys to caricature? Um, he's got a little stubble. The keys to caricature are like what Tom Richmond says. Where's the widest part of the face? When somebody sits down in front of you at your events or, or whatever, at home or on the computer or whatever you're looking at, where is, there's a few things you can ask yourself. Where's the widest part of the face? Okay. Where is there more mass above or below the eye line? That is key. Okay, and your biggest exaggeration is uh, your head shape. You're going to get a lot out of it, out of the humor with your head shape. Guys, I hope hope you guys learned something. Thanks so much for joining. Hey, Karina Holloway, a whole lot of mullets. Yeah. Thank you for joining, Karina. That's a guy with a whole lot of mullet. And uh, that's it, guys. Let's see what your favorite one is. You got Mullet Man. I like this, Betty Crocker. She was fun to draw. I like the way she's just looking away. We had uh, that lady. <laughs> and we had, I like this one. That was a fun one. And then the first one. Oh my God, I forgot all about this one. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on the Cartoon Mark YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you.